here on the boardwalk in Seabright where the scene could not be any more different than when we got here this morning at about 6.30 when the remains of Elsa were sweeping through the region. It was pouring rain, driving wind, and now you have a perfect, glorious Jersey Shore Beach Day kicking off a weekend here on a Friday. And uh, I was talking to some folks here in Seabright who said that the beach badge sales uh, are way off from last year because Memorial Day was a complete washout. You had Fourth of July weekend. A couple of those days were cold, very cold, not beach days. So the beach badge sales have been down significantly. And now here we are on another Friday, kicking off another summer weekend and wide open here. Really not many people on the beach at all. How are the beach badge sales going? Not that good today. Not, not many good. people. No. no. Not much. So you're, uh, well, you can kick, you put your feet up and, and relax there. We're, we're playing games. Playing yeah. games? What are you playing? We were drawing on our legs. I, we, she has a lot of smiley faces on her legs. The details. So you know it's slow when the beach badge <laughs> sales people are drawing smiley faces on their legs. Uh, and this is... You know, part of the reason why we still have the red flags up because the remains of Elsa and the rip currents and the surf is still really roiled up. It is serious. Do not go in the water today. Obey those red flags. Looking forward to the weekend. There's still some talk in the forecast, the surf forecast, saying that there's still going to be big waves and rip currents tomorrow, but they might come down. You might want to check on that in your local beaches as you make plans for the weekend. But another Friday kicking off the summer weekend. Take a look at this. Really, really empty, wide open. If you want to come to the beach, you got it all yourself as long as you don't mind not being able to go in the water. From Seabright, Brian Donnie, News 12, New Jersey.